Did I scare you? <laughs> that was a little trick before the treat. Welcome to Team APS's Ghost Trick Deck Profile. Being a Ghost Trick Deck, it's nothing without the piece de resistance. Trips Ghost Trick Spectre. He's the he's he's your main plus one. When a Ghost Trick monster is destroyed on your side of the field, you reveal special summon and face down defense and draw a card. You get a you get a card and you get a body. Uh, a ghost. Our second set of ones, Jack Frost. Another hand trap. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, Jack Frost reveals himself, then hides himself in face down defense position. And then he scares the, the, the target into face down defense position. So no attack. Which also makes them now susceptible to whatever nasty effects you want to use. For two, Ghost Trick Doll. Doll is Doll's a little special, as when she's flipped, her effect goes off in the end phase, where she'll flip as many possible monsters face down defense, and special summon a Ghost Trick monster whose level is equal to or less than the number of monsters that were flipped. So, you can essentially pull any Ghost Trick you want at your deck. Anyone. Which is always good. To Yukiona. A lot of people don't like her. I love her because once something attacks her, it's stuck face down. And that's it. It's stuck there. It doesn't matter what it is. As long as it says as long as that monster can be hit by a monster effect, you can you can basically make it a non-factor. One witch, she's not she she basically just flips a monster face down. That's it. That's all she does. So she's not the greatest, but she still has her uses for like forcing for forcing combos. So I keep her at one. A little tech, Penguin Soldier, because he's Penguin Soldier and he's level two. But the best thing about him is he combos really well with Doll because Doll flips as any monster she can face down. So even him. So with Doll, you can just keep using him over and over again. It's beautiful. Your opponent will hate you. Now three. You have to have three. Cheng Shi. Cheng Shi. Once it's flipped, you search. You search a ghost trick whose level is equal to, or less than, a number of ghost tricks that are currently on your side of the field. What's beautiful about it is when targeted for an effect you flip and you automatically have one ghost trick on your side of the field so you can pull any of your level ones which usually you want to pull specter and then once he's destroyed specter goes off you get you get the body and the draw it's a win-win two ghost trick mummy Ghost Trick Mummy, Mummy just allows you to normal summon or set another Ghost Trick monster. That's all he does. But in a deck that's so slow, it kind of need an extra summon sometimes. And he'll provide it for you. Two Skeletons. Ghost Trick Skeleton when flipped will Will, will banish the top card of your opponent's deck face down for every ghost trick monster you control. So if you can get a good, good little setup going, you can, in a way, mill out your opponent's entire deck. He's somebody your opponent's not gonna want to let you keep on the field. So he's also good bait. To Stein, He's really our only, he's the only guy we have that can search our ghost trick spells and traps. Uh, he, but he has to hit and, and do damage, so it's not always the easiest thing to pull off. But, it, but if he can, if you can do it, do it because those searches are invaluable. And you keep, you keep him at two because three, 
He's not. He's not even that much really helpful. You basically gonna you're gonna search him if you need him. Drawing into him isn't always great. Welcome to the Ghost Trick Mansion. We all know what it does. If your monsters are all face down, defense mode, your opponent can attack you directly. And if and if damage is done by any monster that's not a ghost trick, it's automatically halved. So now, if in, even if the game becomes a big slugfest, you're taking half the damage that your opponent tries to deal. So you can really you can outlast a lot of people, especially in tournament situations, if they're not prepared. Two swords of concealing light. Because nothing scares your opponent more than turning out the lights. But no, in all seriousness, the, the, card, the card will allow you to just force your plays whenever you want if you have it. Because it flips all your opponent's monsters face down defense and they can't change battle positions. And that second effect where it can't change battle positions, I, it doesn't have to be the monsters that were summoned. So really, if, so once a monster hits the field on their side of the field, even if it wasn't hit by this effect, it still can't change battle position. So, it you can make it work. You can you can do some plays people wouldn't expect. It it, it fucks with them. It fucks with them some awful. I like it. One dark eruption because it can it can tap just almost every dark in the grave. Uh, sometimes sometimes if you don't really have much use for it, you can just pull another specter out. A fourth specter. Can't hurt. I only have one terraforming because if I'm gonna if I'm gonna search my field spells, I would hope it's with the Frankenstein. And terraforming's a quick way of doing it. If I can, I'd like to actually go up on terraforming because there we all know that Stein is not very efficient. One MST, because my other ones are gone. You should run three. Don't don't run one. Don't listen to me. This isn't right. Our favorite trap, scare. This card will annoy any opponent. I don't care who it is. It will flip. It when you on a, on activation, you flip up as many cards as you can. And for every ghost trick monster that on your side of field that you flipped up, you flip that many down on your opponent's side of field. So this card can in, can end a battle phase. There's just nothing they can do. Three cylinder. So so if you especially if you have mansion on the field, you only take damage when you want to take damage. If you're in a time game, this will. This will kind of mess with your opponent pretty bad. I know, I lost to a little shit player that way. For defense, two vanishes. Three because it's not the greatest card in the world, but basically it says that ghost tricks and face down cards can't be hit by card effects. It'll, in a clutch moment, it can save you. But it's not so great, so that you really don't need it that bad. And you, you can just mainly, if you're gonna, if you really need it, you'll search it off of Stein or something. So keep it at two. And then two needle sealing, because in a ghost trick duel, monsters tend to stay on the field for a long time, so that they get, you get you get four monsters on the field pretty easily. And then if your monsters are face down, they don't even get hit by needle sealing. So you can force your opponent to take all the cost and you get all the benefit. I have a skeleton of an extra deck for you. First up is Ghost Trick Dullahan. You should run. All right, you should run two, maybe not just one. But uh Dillahan, he's he's pretty special. You know, two level ones. 
his, he gains attack for every ghost trick monster on the field. So if your swarm is set up properly, he can be pretty ugly. And then once per turn, he can cut a monster in half. So then he can swing over just about anything. You can't go wrong. Next up is Ghost Trick So Cute Boss. She, with the amount of level twos you play, you can get her out pretty easily. Easier than Dillahan, really. And she, can't, if there's another Ghost Trick on the field, she can't even be attacked. That's always nice. Her second effect is, is only useful if you've got that swarm going. But if you've got the swarm going, it can put the hurt on them. So Cute Boss will pop a monster who has less attack than all the combined attack of your ghost tricks on the field. So all those little ghosties, they start to add up. And then she knocks out the, the spot that monster was on. So your opponent can now play less monsters. Our, our king, as some call him, Ghost Trick Alucard. He's a, he's a staple in a lot of decks right now. You know, he pops a face down. That's that's his thing. When he's destroyed, you can search a ghost trick out of your graveyard. Good, you know, good good card. He he doesn't actually he's actually he doesn't he doesn't do a whole lot for the deck except just for like extra pop. Because really, you're gonna win off that main deck more than you're gonna win off him. Zen mains, they can go rank three. We know why. Master Key Beetle. Master Key Beetle. <laughs> That's the end of this video. <laughs>